Buenos dias! We've all been there. We wake up sick or some other personal emergency comes up and you need to call in a sub. But what do you have students do? Hit that like button if you've ever had to call out a sub at the last minute. I know I have. Now, you don't want to lose the instructional time, but getting a sub that can teach your language, good luck. But I've got your back. In this video, I'm going to show you my no prep go-to sub plan that you can use over and over again and keep your kids on track even when you can't be there. And stick around until the end when I'll share with you my free sub plan blueprint you can download for yourself. Hello, my name is Scott and you're watching Immediate Immersion where we're all about comprehension-based instruction in the modern language classroom. We'll be right back. The problem with being out of your class is what do you have students do while you're gone? Unlike many other subjects, a substitute can't always jump in and teach your class. And at the same time, you don't want to lose valuable class time to a movie or just another worksheet. So what's a language teacher to do? My four step no prep sub plan that any sub can do is the answer. As long as your sub can manage the class and keep time, they'll be good to go. The first step is to have students write a story. Depending on your class time, have students write their story for seven to 10 minutes. You can give them a prompt, a topic, some vocabulary, or a picture to write from, or you can have them write about anything they'd like. It's important to stick to the timeline and that they'll work independently without the use of a dictionary or translation website. Next, have students form small groups of four to six students depending on the size of your class. Once they've formed their groups, give them seven to 10 minutes to read their stories out loud to their group members. As the group members are listening to each story, they're to choose which story they like best. This is great for both reading and listening practice, plus students get to show off their language skills and story writing prowess. The third step is to have each group illustrate the story they chose. There should be as many story frames as there are students in the group. So if there are four students, there should be four story frames. If there are six students, six story frames. It doesn't matter if one student draws the whole story or if each student draws one frame of the story. On the drawing, there should be no words, letters, symbols, or digits. We don't want the students reading from anything on the picture. The picture is just there to jog their memory as they're speaking. The final step is to tell the story. Each group will tell their story to the class one frame at a time. Each student is responsible for talking about one frame of the story. They should do this by only looking at the pictures and not reading from any notes of any kind. This will help students practice speaking and build up their confidence with the language. As an added bit of fun, you can have the students choose which story they liked best out of all the stories they heard. When you get back to class, you can give some type of prize or reward to the group that had the best story. So now that you know all about my go-to sub plan, you can download the free blueprint at mm.us slash subplan. That way you'll always have it nearby when that day inevitably comes and you need to be out of your classroom. Hit the like button if you're planning on using this sub plan the next time you're out. Do you have a go-to sub plan that you use? Share it with us in the comments below. And if you want to learn more about teaching in the modern language classroom, subscribe for more videos and click the notification bell so you know when my next video drops. Want to watch more? I've picked this next video especially for you. Happy comprehensible input.